Well, they are known as man's best friend for a good reason. Dogs are loyal and loving and playful. But as puppies, they can also catch deadly viruses, particularly if they are not vaccinated properly or given proper care. And that appears to be exactly what's happened to one couple's little dog purchased from a pet store. As A News reporter Louise Hartland shows us tonight, you need to do your homework before you bring home your four-legged friend. Holly Unsworth and James Whittle are all smiles now with their new puppy, but that wasn't the case a few months ago. Yeah, I mean, it was just really sad. It was terrible. It's absolutely terrible. In December, the couple bought this little chihuahua from pet store Creatures Great and Small. Five days after they brought Mandolini home, he died from parvovirus. He had to have such a horrible, horrible, painful death. It's just not fair at all. James and Holly say the puppy contracted the highly contagious disease before they brought him home from the store. They also claim the store didn't take proper precautions. And when we found out um, about the vaccinations and that he wasn't properly vaccinated. And the couple says that's why Mandolini died. A veterinarian has told them the dog received two vaccinations, but was susceptible to parvo during the nine weeks between the shots. The owner of Creatures Great and Small wasn't available for an interview today, but the SPCA says whether you're buying an animal from a pet store or a breeder, you need to do your homework. BCSPCA. The BCSPCA says it gets lots of calls from people whose puppies have died in similar circumstances. Animal Control Officer Erica Paul says people need to do their homework. That includes finding out vaccination records. If they can't get the background on where the puppies came from, you know, they have no information about the lineage, uh, the environment in which the puppies were born and raised, then really they're, they're buying blind. This isn't the first time A News has received a complaint after a puppy died of parvovirus purchased at Creatures Great and Small. In 2008, this puppy died. The owner of the store agreed to pay thousands of dollars in veterinary bills. Paul says no one governs or regulates pet stores, and that needs to change. Until then, she says due diligence is the answer. It is a virus. You know, it's one of those things that happens, and again, a buyer beware. The couple got their new puppy straight from a breeder. They're suing creatures great and small for the cost of the veterinary bills. If it happened to us, we feel that we should be, um, we should have a voice and uh, make sure that this doesn't happen again. James and Holly hope people will learn from their experience and never have to deal with a loss like they did. In Victoria, Louise Hartland, A News.